Hello, this is Dr. Lee from Mobility Plus. I'm going to show you one of our favorite in-office exercise called a sit-up plank. And this is for those who have a neck pain or neck tightness or low back pain and low back tightness. This is for you. And for those who have watched our other videos on the neck and low back self test, you are going to mark down your findings and try to see how this exercise helped you with those findings. Now, for those who haven't watched it yet, feel free to pause the video right now and go back to our neck and low back range of motion uh, self-test videos to see how you do with this. Mark down your findings to see which one feels tight uh, or not. Then go back to this video to do the self-correction to see how that helps. Now, let's go back to the exercise. So, very simple. You're going to sit nice and tall. You're going to put the meaty part of your hands right on your thighs. Extend your elbows, push this hard. Harder, so hard to the point that you're gonna feel like your core is engaging. Good, feeling that? I push even harder. Good, even harder. Now you can see my voice is changing too, so push it that hard. Now once you find that shakiness, stay there. Now while you stay there, try to see if we can keep breathing using your lower rib cage. Now what do I mean by that? You wanna put your hands here and as you breathe in, you want to feel your rib cage going east and west. As you breathe out, the rib cage going back to the center line. Now, one more time. Breathing in, rib cage going east and west. And breathe out, rib cage going back to the center line. Now, I'm going to put this all together. So, try to see if you can maintain that kind of breathing pattern while you push down hard. Now, I'm going to hold it for 10 breaths. I know you don't want to go through the whole 10 breaths, so try to do that on your own. So say this after 10 breaths, then you want to recheck your neck range of motions again, along with the low back. Now, for those who have previously done a self-test for the neck, you will notice your neck tightness or tension will be a lot less. And for those who have a you know, low back tightness, especially those who have feel uh, pain touching your toes or bending back, you're going to find your back loosen up quite a bit. We always tell our patients, when you keep stretching and the tightness keep coming back, try this. This is helping you to really engaging all the muscles, all the little stabilizing muscles. They're working so hard to try to stabilize you because the cores are not working. And by activating your cores, those little stabilizers can actually finally relax. And that's why you feel quote unquote more relaxed and more loose after this exercise. So, Give this a try, let us know how it goes for you. If you have any questions, never hesitate to email us or call us. This is Dr. Lee again from Mobility Plus, here to help you to move better, to feel better. See you next time.